Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon and this is Evil Genius 2. At the end of the last episode, we had a nerd fight. And now I have to execute either an engineer or a scientist. Scientists are cheaper, so we're going to execute one of them. Oh, look, there's two scientists right here, in fact. So, there we go with that. Wait, was that the wrong one? Wait, I just saw the star mark in the corner. Oh yeah, I just had to execute one who's in my main office. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, this is fine. Um. You. What? Why are... Oh, I didn't mean to click the throw. There we go. Hopefully your quick thinking has contained the growing schism in your workforce before it can get worse. In your recent labor dispute, you sided with the engineers over the scientists. In order to prevent future outbreaks of dissent, give scientists a crash course in the so-called grunt work they disdain. Wow, this makes me want to play Polar twice so I can see both branches of the story. Alright, so I need to... Let's see, you're deep in labor disputes and the forces of justice have decided now is a great time to attack. Uh, whatever. Have the scientists perform the menial task of clearing out your spam folder <laughs> message by message. Yeah. Neglect them to tell them how long it's been since the last cleaning. If it's my email accounts, good god, that's going to take a while. Especially since my email addresses are public. And, uh, you know, I, I've gotten a lot of garbage <laughs> over doing YouTube for ten years. Your efforts at disciplining your scientists are having the opposite effect. Resort to something more direct. Quality time in a cell. Round them all up just to be sure. Okay, well, we can probably do a few things at once. Um, oh, complete research project. I see. So, let's set that up. I need the data bank. Yeah, I, I need data banks of all my spam emails. That's for damn sure. And only some of them are porn. Figured I'd test out our new cybernetics by getting my hands a little dirty here. Looks like my attacks are pretty cool. <laughs> I'm gonna kill a man. I love the oddity that my scientists are getting smarter by staying in my prison cell. I'm sure there's a reason for it. Maybe it's just because they don't have to look at my spam folders anymore. And it's restoring their IQ. That's the scientist type sorted then. Real glad you got behind us, boss. Sure. Yes, and while I took a hand in your petty squabbles, the earth warmed an entire degree. Hmm, that might be a bit too real. Oh, I mean, I feel bad for the penguins and all that, but now we can work harder to make up for... Your team will work harder. You will not. I don't tolerate dissent, but I also don't tolerate delays. Goodbye. Wait, now do I get to kill the engineers? Yes, I do. People are always trying to get your attention. It mostly goes to your spam folder and cleaning it is a days long endeavor. Make your sign to, oh yeah, we did that already. All right, so execute engineer troublemaker, <laughs> the lair. Okay, where are they? Uh, are they in an upstairs office, or... Yep, yep, yeah he is. Alright, come on over, Polar. Let's see if there are any more side stories that... Nope, we're still good. Still good. Come on over, Polar. Hurry. This is your favorite part of the day. The I promise you, I won't Polar, there you go. There you go. Your workforce has been reunified. Now back to your master plan. There she is, our new comrade in the fight for the ocean's future. How goes it, Polar, you boreal brainiac? That better not have been sardonic, asshole. I'll kill you too. Well enough. But I could be doing so much better. I think we are settling, not fighting global warming. I now know a way to reverse it, but I need Joss's help. Cornelius, I need access to Project Zero. There's no such thing as Zero. 
but if it existed, it would be too dangerous to see the light of day again. Hmm, again, huh? Just stick to what you're doing now, Polar. Slow, incremental progress, I always say. Ta! The only one who gets to say ta to me like that is Full Metal Jackie because she's awesome. You, sir, are not awesome. As you work on the cold generator continues, you've come to realize there's more aid Jaws could be giving you. Find out more about the enigma enigmatic project Zero. Zero is your best chance to heal humanity's damage to the world. Question Jaws agents, research it, build machinery to locate it, or send subs out to look for it yourself. Oh dear god, I just saw that the side story counter has nine. Oh god. Oh god. All right, let's do more side stories. Any fort in a storm. Your enemies have been increasingly brazen. Now they're just walking through your front door. Go out and find some doors they can't just waltz past. So many break-ins. So many people caught snooping. With the state of things, why even have a security system? Right? My crew's doing our best, but there's no easy way to say it. We need a better system to back us up, boss. It seems to fix my current security problems. I must turn my sights toward Fort Knox. Right. Steal the gold, use it to pay for a security upgrade. Sounds like a good... No. Anyone could think to steal gold through impenetrable doors. I want to steal the impenetrable doors. You're great, Polar. Fort Knox has just had new doors installed that are meant to be more secure than ever. How convenient for you. Send your minions out to grab the blueprints. Also optional objective. I'm sorry, I just noticed this. I can arm any minion with a rocket launcher? I mean, come on now, that's, that's just silly. Obviously we need to do that. Seems like we've got Fort Knox's impenetrable doors. Okay, next is North by North. Your cover operation needs a fresh distraction, but you don't want to book another singer or magician. You want something truly spectacular, like the Northern Lights itself. How is that physically possible? Apparently, our entertainment isn't distracting enough. I have had eight guests wander into my office this week. Uh, I'm a scientist, so I don't really know why I'm... I want you to bring me something my guests would never see in this tropical paradise. The Aurora Borealis. Polar, you know you're not in the tropics, right? You know what, it's probably fine. B but, uh... How are we supposed to even capture it? It's an effect of light, uh, refracted through the atmosphere. I guess that's why you're the scientist, buddy. Figure it yeah, out! Exactly. You are a scientist, <laughs> aren't you? Uh, in order to capture the northern lights, you have to head north. Make sure to find a travel agent who will give your minions a good group discount. Okay. I love this game. So one of my questions is finally answered. Apparently eating at one of the tables that is a specialist feeding table does help because this valet has regenerating morale and skill damage increased because he ate at the uh, deception minion table thing here, which is awesome. Glad to know that's a thing. Really encourages me to get that done. That also means that probably the muscle minions have either better armor or better damage output. We're getting close to the point. Actually, now that I have my succeeded. next level diggy do, we could do it here. Let's make a small eatery area here for our military minions because they're kind of close by over here. And we'll get some muscle food, the dinner bar. I mm, wish I could cram one more in there. I mean, I guess I could if I open some of the room up, but, oh, well, two will be fine. And, because I care about aesthetics, which 
I suppose in this case I really shouldn't, but whatever. We're gonna... Yeah, there we go. And, yeah, that's fine. So, once those get built, the Muscle Minions will have somewhere tasty to snack on. Um, meanwhile, we're waiting for some travel agents to get in the lair. I haven't seen them yet. Never mind. There they are. Let's just flag them now and be done with it. So once they get in the lair, we'll get them captured, we'll get them interrogated, and we'll be one step closer to capturing Aurora Bori Alice. Somehow. There are times when I have to ask myself the very serious question, Pyro, are you sure this is a good idea? And then, usually, I tend to think better of it when I do things. Uh, when I find myself asking myself that question. But then there are other times where I think, yes, Pyro. Changing out all of the melee and missile weapons for a literal missile weapon to make sure every single minion in the base is armed with a rocket launcher is a good idea. And there is no way it could possibly go wrong. Oh, I only get two rockets per thing? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, so that's twenty-six? Ah, uh, well, you know what the solution to this is. More goddamn rocket launchers. There are other times where I have to say, but Pyro, isn't this possibly overkill? And then I have to remind myself that there ain't no kill like overkill. And we are an evil genius. So really, the only overkill that my minions have to worry about is what I will do to them if they don't follow my orders. And right now my order is to pick up a goddamn rocket launcher. Oh wait, even more problems. The only ones who can have them are mercenaries and hitmen. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I suppose that means I can reduce the number I have because I don't have hitmen yet, so... We can cancel all of these. We can replace them with guns, so... You know. I don't know if there's a word for a question that has an obvious answer. Interrogation. Success. But I believe I'm seeing one here. Because when you look at this and you think, is that too many guns? The answer is obviously no. And if you think, is that too many weapons total? Especially given I only have 50 muscle minions. Uh, again, the answer is obviously no. Need, let's let's get some more clubs. New research has been completed. The Museum of Comically Large Objects houses the world's largest snow globe. It's the ideal vessel for the Aurora Borealis. Have your minions make it your ideal vessel. Oh, have it made your ideal. Yeah, okay, I got it. What? 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 The Museum of Comically Large Objects? If that was a thing, I would absolutely go. I would love to see the world's largest snow globe. Of course it's in the United States. Why would it be anywhere but the United States? A scheme has succeeded. We now apparently have Aurora Borealis. With no cutscene. Um, let's see what this looks like. Ooh, it's pretty. Truly a feat of thievery, the like of which will never be believed, which is all well and good because otherwise you'd be reported to the forces of justice. Okay. Um, yeah, let's put it in here. Yeah, it's a good location for it, actually. Uh, a boop. We'll put Aurora Borealis right in the center of all the gods. New optional objective. Absolutely nothing will go wrong with that. What? What is the optional? Yeah, whatever. Okay, the world is hot enough. Is it? Wait. Yes. A heat wave has gripped the entire world regardless of climate or season. Scientists the world over are baffled. But sitting in your sweltering lair, you suspect a different cause. Humanity? This heat! Why is it so hot all of a sudden? This wasn't in any of my weather team's projections. It appears another factor is in play, boss. Hammer seems to have uncovered something in Greece. 
the flame of Prometheus. What? I thought it was just a legend. But I suppose all legends are true in their own way. What? Since they unearthed it, temperatures have spiked. It's starting to interfere with our global operations. Hmm. Very well. Hamno has created little fires everywhere. But I will put them out. And then light my own. Yeah, it doesn't make sense coming out of her character, but that's fine. Hammer has rediscovered the legendary flame of Prometheus, and the ripple effects are creating serious trouble for you. Find out where their dig site was. Probably a simple thing in the world to- oh no, it's a research. Huh, alright. Oh, I would love an Aurora Borealis snow globe. That looks really cool. I mean, I guess it's not that much different from a lava lamp, except, you know, the size of my entire living room. Olga decided to show up to my lair, and this has been a good test to see if Polar can handle a fight. I would certainly not want to keep her in the front line for long with as much damage as was just done to her. But she's doing okay. <laughs> wow, everyone was down for a while. I kind of assumed that was somebody with a rocket launcher? Yeah, we seem to be handling it okay. I, if, if she didn't have backup, I wouldn't have Polar on the front line like this because she's taking enough damage that I need to worry. Let's get some better framing on the camera there. But she's doing all right, and she has plenty of exits right now if we need to withdraw her, but she seems to be doing fine. They're only down to two, including Olga herself. And two of the henches are down, which is causing some of this pro- Okay, Olga's gone, and then there goes her last escort. Okay. Not bad. Um, definitely need to keep that in mind for any later excursions. But, uh, seems like that worked out okay. And if she can hang handle Olga, she can handle any of them. I want stuff in truth, they're found and kicked. That side story took a while. Task complete. And now it's even further complicated that there's a cat on my lap. Had I anticipated that, I would have gotten the webcam ready. I guess we've got Prometheus's torch now. Hearts and masterminds, the life of an evil genius is a lonely one. Perhaps it's time you bent your towering intellect toward quantifying what makes your heart beat faster. All right, I will just come out and say it. I feel the absence of your love and adulation, and I dislike it. Where did this come from, boss? Are you contradicting me? I could feed you to my sharks, and no one would notice you were gone, you pathetic! <laughs> I'm sorry, boss, I'm sorry! I'm your guy, all the way! Yet somehow, I remain unappreciated. Curious. I must delve deeper into the mysteries of the human heart. Good thing her suit was yellow. Cupid's arrow is your most promising lead in your quest for love and adoration. <laughs> With it, you can compel anyone's infatuation. Have your minions venture to Santorini to find it. Didn't do this the last time either. The Cherubic Guardian drove your minions off with a... Hey, come back here. I was reading you. Uh, drove your minions off with a hail of arrows. You'll need a more tender approach, like kidnapping writers to compose the greatest love poem in history. Oh man, you know who would make a really good kidnapping victim? Probably could have worded that better. Is John Michael, the writer of The Precipice of Extinction. For sale or on sale or is for sale. You can buy it on Amazon.com. There's a link in the video description for doing that That. Thing there that I just said. Bye, Nisi. Wow, that burned in ad was so bad, even my cat said fuck it and left. Ah, hit those dislikes. 
Oh good, we've got some Jaws divers coming. Um, we've got some heavy rockets that are kind of pointed in their direction, and now I have a Prometheus flame trap, so... I kind of see how this goes for him, because, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's, um... Oh my Yeah, I'm pretty happy with our security situation. Deep Six is now in the base. So I can see how my security system works for him. These Jaws divers aren't all that impressive. It doesn't look like he's bother- oh, there he goes. I was gonna say, it doesn't look like he's bothering to disable any of the traps. We'll see what happens when he gets close enough. I'm curious if anyone can even shut down the Prometheus. The trap has been triggered fire, flame, torch thing. Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, if it could have been disabled, it wasn't disabled. Oh, and here comes everybody. I mean, half the minions are getting set on fire as well, but you know, nothing of value is going to be lost if that happens. Yeah, so we lost our poison trap, which, whatever. There's a reason I've got it set to auto-regenerate. Hmm. He's within range of the turret, but the turret is not shooting at it. Well, never mind. I guess the turret didn't need to shoot when we have all these people with rocket launchers. Wow, that's really efficient. This definitely is working out. I'm gonna double up my traps here since I removed that camera. May as well get another poison trap over here for funsies. All I had to do was thaw Cupid's icy heart. <laughs> Actually, that was what the description was, so that wasn't me being punny. Um, but we've got Cupid Zero, apparently. And that's it for our loot missions for the moment. Hey, look! Live and let dive. Another Deep Six mission. We know we can handle him. Deep Six's greatest asset is his diving suit. If you can sabotage it, you'll neutralize him as a threat. And if you can sabotage it while he's underwater, you'll neutralize him as a living person. Get to it. Wait, really? They wouldn't make it that easy already. Side story begun. Deep Six's power lies in his electric diving suit. It would be a shame if something were to to disable it while he was out on a deep dive. Get your engineers to work on an EMP. Oh, Cupid's arrow is a trap? Uh... Hmm... It looks like it's a floor-bound one. Alright, what if I extend these walls one notch? This is gonna get a little hinky. Um, and then we'll just turn this into a corridor. Right. Oh man, no, I can't do that. Um, oh, but then, all right, so I'm gonna have to slide that over one tile. Oof, there's probably a better way to do this, but I'm gonna make this work for me. Okay, sure. So then, if that's extended one tile, we can sell the poison darts, we move our laser traps down a smidge, and then, oh, this has to be corridor, and then I can take the trap, put it here, yeah, seems like that'll work. Yeah, things are a little cramped in this area, but it should be fine. Of course, what I could do, which I'm absolutely going to do. So we're going to move this thing. Um, oh, I've got an open space over here now. Uh, yeah. The pharmacy isn't getting that much use. Then, 
We're gonna craft up another heavy rocket turret and then put that right over here. Wait, it wouldn't fit. Son of a bitch. Oh wait, I'll just put it over here. <laughs> oh yeah, since this is a new quest for us, I should read this. So we did that research project, so now you need to get Deep Six's attention. Generosity might be the ticket. It's just the ones we promise. So we have to donate to an NGO, a non-governmental organization. Here? Uh, nope. Let's see. I mean, I assume it's going to be in the ocean somewhere. Not there. Not there. Okay, we'll get that in just a hot second. Here we go. 20 grand? Well, since it's only just the wands. After our last meeting, I didn't expect a donation. Especially one not big. 20 grand is big to you? Cool. Well, what you said about how much you do is so little, it, uh, stuck with me. It's everyone's ocean, right? See? That's what I always say. How am I supposed to defend 70% of the world with a toothpick and spare change? Maybe all that plastic that's in its own little island out in the Pacific. Wow, your hand is fucking going nuts there, buddy. We want to have that looked at. Maybe we got off on the wrong foot. Maybe you're all right. Yeah, maybe. Here are the coordinates for the handoff. And don't forget to bring your wetsuit. Okay. Deep Six is in the middle of the ocean, awaiting your huge donation. Courtesy of your submarine's EMP, send him to explore new depths. It can't be this easy. It can't be. Wait, it's a different ocean location? Uh, oh, here we go. All right, fire the EMP. I'm kind of digging the submarine mechanics addition to the whole Evil Genius 2 gameplay loop. It's definitely different and interesting, but on future runs, I may not worry too much about them because the downside with these submarines is that it takes so long to get that many minions loaded, especially when a few schemes come up at once and trying to do them immediately, like I've been doing. It's not always the best thing to do. There might... I'm, I might be going overboard with... Oh my god! Was that actually Cupid who just fired an arrow? Okay. I love our security system. The thing with the fire, the reason I made the traps this way is Cupid's arrow can't break, so there's no danger about the trap being set on fire. I mean, minions can be set on fire, but, you know, who cares? Anyway, it just seems like it takes so long to get the submarines loaded. I suppose if I had made them more centralized, it would make it a little bit better, but then I would lose security as a result. So, it's fine. Ooh, they keep getting cold over there. I noticed that last time, actually, that they're, that, for once, I think I actually need to worry about the temperature here. Because... It's so cold by the submarines that people will, like, get ready to go to, to board them, but then they get so cold they don't want to stick around and finish it. So I need to put some furnaces down, because this is getting just a little dicey. Let's put one between each. Mm, no, let's spread them out a little bit more. I, I know I could also decrease the heat they give off, but... Well, that might be good enough. I just don't want the minions running off because they get too cold while they're waiting for the thing to activate. And see, I think this would work if I turn the middle ones down to medium heat. So I'll worry about that once this situation resolves itself. All right, so why is Deep Six here? Let's see. With Deep Six gone, the Sea Turtle Preservation League doesn't need your donation anymore. Steal it back and then some. But he came anyway, so we clearly didn't kill him. Ah, but I have to do that. Recover the donation. Well, at least we get our $20,000 back. What? 
But you're supposed to be dead. We watched you drown. It was on the little monitor and everything. We're all made of water. It'll never be what kills me. That makes no sense. I don't have time to mess about with you people. The ocean's dying. But those sea turtles needed that money. So you lot have just become my priority. Hope your lair's waterproof. It's a giant iceberg, so yes and no. Defeat Deep Sex. Oh, good, he's here. So that makes this easier. I think he went up to the vault? Oh, here comes some more Jaws divers. All right, let's see how these, how my... Yeah, now it's a little bit warm. Warm is fine from what I've seen. So I think this will work out. And I flagged the furnaces to be rebuilt if they get damaged or break or whatever. I assume they won't get damaged. I, I highly doubt anybody's going to care about them. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now we just have to wait for Deep Six to come down to the main trap room. Actually, never mind. Let's defeat Deep Six in the next one. We're out of time for this one, and it's not like he's going anywhere. So we'll start off defeating Deep Six, and then continue the side quests, and then continue the MSQ tomorrow as well. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode. <laughs>